Welcome back and thank you very much indeed. This is TV3 New Day. And what's on the front page is BNFT this morning reports that um, slate payments to invalid pensioners increased by 13.68%. CD records highest depreciation against top line 36 weeks. And despite COVID-19, cocoa production exceeded projected targets, according to the Cocoa Board CEO, Boahin Adu. What's on the front page of Business 24? They say MTN appoints Shai Buharuna as Chief Sales Distribution Officer. Also, President promises high economic growth. Unilever's profit up by 85% in 2020, points to remain a future fit business. And Akufuado satisfied with progress of Bichema uh, Ajuafua Road. Well, that's an asphalted road. I thought that we're told we'll, we'll get... Uh, Concrete roads, but anyway, uh, big Ghana with it. Um, the Chronicle, Mahama threatens mayhem in 2024. Do or die, I'm sure you heard that. Uh, JM is painting a rosy picture of his disastrous government, according to John Boyd, who is the NPP's general secretary. Pandemic, not solely responsible for economic woes. Mahama uh, fights back. We have targeted 5% growth despite the ravages of COVID-19. A daily guide is our next paper. It says Mahama scales up attacks. NPP fires back. Don't frustrate investors. President Akufuado says there, after he had said in Germany that Ghana protects the foreign direct investors. The Finder newspaper, SIGA develops corporate governance code for state-owned enterprises, according to Asamo Boatim, who is the boss at SIGA. President refunds 237,974 salary increment to coffers. Mahama presided over the worst economy in the Fourth Republic. John Buidu, what's the situation now? Somebody will ask. Address bottlenecks frustrating investors. President Nana Akufado charges GIPC and 109 districts, municipalities benefit from $1 million constituency uh, initiative, according to its CEO. Daily graphic, PNC disagreements deepen. Uh, there's a dogfight at the PNC at this point. Lavish funerals in a Google band. Well, I thought funerals, nightclubs, pubs, all remain closed. And Spark Up Summit, we're working towards 5% growth rate President assures what's on the front page of the new crusading guy, Kwekubaku's own uh, brainchild. Akwano family head warns Ishmael Ama Kwanza and others over encroachment. And uh, Cops will end pocket of refuse in towns, cities, and uh, menace, according to the minister. Don't wilt under pressure. Uh, and, and any oil's discovery offshore, Ivory Coast proves energy transition in fiction. Insta PR says so. And also, cash for appointment scandal but rocks SMD lands commission. And uh, that's what's there. Ignore Mahama, economy is in right direction. John Kuma is a deputy minister for finance. The informal newspaper says. NDC must stop Mahama for 2024, 20, former Mahama appointee. Uh, if you buy, buy a copy, you can get it down memory lane. 10 uh, NDC, 10 member NDC advisory council behind Mills economic success. Also, you could blame ECOWAS, AU, security dawn, and international relations expert professor says so. And that perhaps is our final paper for this morning. Most grateful that you could come along with us. And this is TV3 New Day. We're grateful that you could join us this morning. I guess this morning is a new face. Abdul Nicholas is a Bono Regional Communications Director of the PPP. Also, Dr. Bernard Okoboy, he is a former Deputy Health Minister. He's also a former Member of Parliament for the Lejokuku constituency. And I would always say this, uh, whether you like it or not, he's the Health Minister that Ghana has never had. And also, Alassan Suhini is uh, an allergy, is also the Member of Parliament for Tamale North constituency. Uh, recently, his people had some floods there. I'll ask him what's been happening in his backyard, whether he has gotten support or not. Gentlemen, good morning. Good morning. Great, great, great. Doc, I haven't seen you in a while. Where were you hiding? In, <laughs> yeah, in the, so I think so. He's, he's in the wilderness. <laughs> <laughs> he's just eating fruits and berries. Yeah, we've, we've, we've been taking it cool. Yes, and, I uh, see. Supporting uh, from behind. I, I've always said that I like the way you manage the COVID-19 
pandemic communication at the early stages, when it all this started late, early last year, how you explained to us uh, community spread uh, and all of that, vaccines and, and everything else. The numbers are shooting up again. Uh, from a medical perspective, what would you say to the people of Ghana? Well, um, Johnny, let me say a very good morning to you and to my, <clears throat> my brother, who is very good at mischief. <laughs> <laughs> so he, has, he has not said anything. Can yeah, you? I, I anticipate <laughs> a lot of mischief <laughs> this morning. So, so you know who is mischievous. But uh, whatever will happen, I know that it will not be do or die this okay. morning. It okay. will be peaceful. Right. And then my brother from PPP. Right. Uh, greetings to him and to Papa Kwezindu. <laughs> <laughs> Our last name, Papa Kwezindu, is still interested in the presidential seat. <laughs> Jerry, um, we thank God that um, as of the last time, the latest update uh, we are doing about, as of 4th of September, that's the latest update. Mm. We are doing 6,135. Right. 6,135 active cases. We nearly hit 7,000 mm -hmm. in this wave. Mm -hmm. So at least 6,134 means that, I mean, it's, if you draw a graph, it's tipped. We are hoping that it keeps coming down. But all I will say is that the virus has proven globally. Mm. Uh, that is here to stay for some time. Most viruses that emerge or are discovered normally fade out within usually maximum 24 months, two mm -hmm. years, like H1N1, Middle East, uh, MERS uh, was also a coronavirus. Mm -hmm. They come and they go. Okay. Uh, viruses don't die, okay. but they normally resurrect based on some conditions. Okay. But this one has sort of been around mm -hmm. and uh, what scientists are th scientists are fearing or thinking is that it might behave like the influenza virus you know in uk and certain countries in europe mm -hmm. every winter they give these shots right. why winter because that's the ideal condition for the virus to become to, to active thrive. okay you know so uh, once you realize the virus is behaving like it's here to stay mm. you start to prepare your health uh, infrastructure to be able to contain it so at the end, it becomes like malaria mm -hmm. or any other disease that's recorded monthly. So in Ghana, we know that, let's say, annually, we get, let's say, 5,000 cases of malaria in Ghana. Okay. So that if you hear that there were 5,000 cases, <clears throat> you don't jump and start making noise. But it is when you get, let's say, 20,000 instead of the five, mm -hmm. even for malaria, okay. you have to start quickly knowing and looking for what uh, went wrong. So I suspect that is what is happening. And that's why most countries now have changed from zero active case to now looking at factors that would uh, determine that they are in crisis mm. so we all started with zero active case okay. globally every okay. country started with zero active case because we thought we could crash the virus and let it vanish mm. but now if you go to singapore australia new zealand what they are doing is that they are looking at how many uh, what is the percentage of bed occupancy okay so that if you have thousand beds for competition and you realize that 50% is occupied, then you trigger the yellow or red uh, alarm. So that's what countries are trying to do now. And uh, that's why UK <coughs> is back to almost a normal life, despite the fact that they record cases in the thousands daily. I admit that here our vaccination rate has not been... That, that's like, where I was coming to. Yes. So we're doing small Moderna, small yes, AstraZeneca, yes, yes, yes. small, uh, what's the other ones? Uh, Johnson & Johnson. Exactly, exactly. The Sputnik, it didn't come. Exactly. Uh, because yeah. of one or two things. <laughs> <laughs> when you go Jerry. back to Parliament, I'm sure that you will raise the matter. Jerry. Because the, the plenary has well, not decided Jerry, on that when, matter yet. When uh, Suini is on your left, there are things you don't see. Okay. Otherwise, you... That, you that's you, what I'm looking at. I'm not looking at him. I'm uh -huh. looking at you. All right. Okay. So I'm saying that the, the small <laughs> Moderna, small AstraZeneca, Johnson & Johnson. But, now, a lay person would ask, we are mixing the vaccines. Yeah. Is that not dangerous for us if we want to fight this entirely? Because we're aiming at 20 million by October. Now we, we say yeah. by the end of the year. So that we get our own herd immunity. Yeah. Uh, tell us something from Johnny, a medical perspective, uh, uh, and, I mean, and then I'll bring some in. Yeah, Johnny, a vaccine, like they will see, is like a provocateur. Okay. It provokes your immune system. Mm -hmm. That's all it does. So that you produce soldiers yourself, soldiers okay. to fight COVID. Okay. Should you get it? Mm -hmm. So just to make sure that you don't fall severely ill. Now, whichever type of provocation you get, the good news is that there will be some form of response. Mm -hmm. So it's like having. Uh, staff of TV3 using different vehicles 
the most important is that they are being moved from one place to okay. the other. Okay. So it doesn't really matter. So which there's no cost for worry. Once the person is approved as safe, when I say safe, it's, it, has, it will not harm you. Okay. At least you get some benefits. Mm. All of them, I know that the benefits is not, uh, let, let me, how do I put it? People try to go like, this one has this percentage, mm. that, but I've written about it before that. Whichever kind of vaccine you get, they all do you some good. Okay. No. So far, we have not bought any vaccine, have we? Oh, yes, the J and J. Everything we got was the, free. The, the, the J and J. Okay. The hundred and uh, we we got about some one hundred forty-seven thousand J and J. Okay. That was bought by GOG, okay. of Ghana. Okay. The one that came recently. Okay. The one point two. No, we got about another two hundred and forty-seven thousand yeah, Johnson and Johnson. From Germany. Okay. Okay. No. Yeah. That was from African Medicine Supply. That one right. too bought by government. We bought it. Okay. In fact, government has committed to about 12.5 million vaccines. Okay. That one, they use the African Medicine Supply Platform. So if you're interested, you have to pay some, I think, 15% of the mm. amount. Mm. So, mm. so far, we've, we've received close to 350,000 vaccines, single dose. I'm talking about G&G. Mm. That were, that are being paid for okay. by government. Of I hate you. Sweeney, at the beginning of this COVID-95, you said something that I have kept with me. Spread calm, not recklessness. You remember? I do. Okay. Thank God you remember. Yes, I, I like <laughs> to remember things. You yes. said it and you repeated it about four times. Yeah. So it stuck with me. Yeah. Has that view of yours changed in no. terms of how we're managing it, the fact that we have crossed uh, a certain threshold that we said we were no, no, not going to cross? Not really. I mean, um, good morning to you, Johnny. Good morning to my colleagues on the set and good morning to our viewers out there, especially the very good people of the Tamale North uh, constituency. I am sad to say that um, we have not succeeded in um, preventing the spread of recklessness. Mm -hmm. And um, it is the reason where our story is as it is. Um, when you speak, um, you are quickly referred to how West other countries are doing. But when you have the opportunity to do better uh, and you see those clear opportunities and you see how um, um, not so well you are performing, mm. um, it is foolhardy to beat your chest, you know, at the rates that you are performing when you have the capacity or the opportunity to do better. Mm -hmm. Clearly, um, the recklessness uh, has been all over. Mm -hmm. I mean, whether in the procurement of these vaccines, mm -hmm. um, in the assurances of when the vaccines will arrive, mm -hmm. uh, in the assurances of uh, how many will be vaccinated uh, at a particular time, or, or in the procurements of PPEs, uh, or in the, you know, uh, communication of even uh, government, you know, in terms of how to get the citizens uh, support mm. for the uh, uh, observation of protocols. I mean, we saw it in our elections. We were all guilty uh, of, of the recklessness that we engaged in. So uh, it is still a call mm. for us to, I mean, it's still a relevant call for us uh, to, 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 to spread calm, yes. Because like Doc said, even though I'm surprised he didn't say all that he died when you asked him about <laughs> about about it. We'll after come all, to, all we'll come to do a die very soon. After all that he died, but I, I'm surprised he didn't say all mm. that he died. But he he went for uh, he asked you know, me not to advice. say anything about the Sputnik V. <laughs> yeah, so that's what I'm saying. But I'm, I'm, the, the the point the point I'm making is that he has spoken about how uh, far we have come, mm -hmm. and it is good that we are where we are today. Okay. But I continue to say that. Uh, we must be calm, mm. but we must guard against recklessness. Okay. The kind of recklessness mm. that led to us uh, almost losing money mm. to the Saudi uh, prince mm. uh, through the procurement of Sputnik V. And maybe, Johnny, isn't it curious mm -hmm. that a government that promised to investigate, sometimes using the ANAS principle, every hint of corruption uh, in power for four years uh, has not on its own triggered any investigation on itself. I mean, whether Sputnik or cash for seats, mm. it has been the minority in parliament making the calls and demanding 
that investigations be done into some of these things. The best you get is, uh, is that cases are referred to uh, the police ID. Mm. Even the, what do you call it, uh, uh, procurement authority investigations ABAJ. have to be taken mm. to, you know, shrouded by individuals. I mean, little wonder we are where we are on the Transparency International scorecard. I mean, when we used to score 46 percent, 47 percent, mm. now for four years, our best performance has been 43 percent, which used to be our worst performance at the time that the shouts of corruption, you know, was the loudest. Hey. It's such an irony. Mr. Abudu, what is the P PPP's view of uh, how we have managed our COVID-19 situation? Okay, Mr. Johnny, good morning. Good morning to my honorable men here. Mm -hmm. Good morning to all PPP members, especially those at the board. As Papa Kwesi Indu. Yes. It's fine. Yeah, good Will morning. He, does he still want to be president? Well, I think that is his personal decision. What have you people been telling him? <laughs> Whatever you tell him is immaterial until he himself decides what he's. But he's, he's the leader of your party, you should encourage him. Well, are you encouraging him? We do. We are do. you sure? Yes, we is do. Is he growing gray now? Yeah, okay. We do. All right. But the woman, the woman is gray. Bridget. Yeah, we do. Yeah. yeah. We, we, yeah so you like the woman instead of the man? No, I, I cannot say. Well, I, what do you like? It's. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. I don't answer questions. Here. <laughs> it, will, it will be decided by the party members I hear you. as to who they want. I hear you. Yeah. Anyway, so what's the PPP's view of how we have managed COVID quickly and then we'll get into uh, other matters. Okay. Mr. Johnny, thank you. Uh, I think with COVID, at least we, we have chalked some amount of success in the management of COVID. But that is not enough. Uh, there are a lot of things that, that, that went on mm -hmm. we supposed not to have uh, uh, went on, uh, to have gone on. The point is, uh, looking at how the, the, the vaccines were procured and some of the issues that surrounded the procurement of the vaccines and how our president responded to those issues, I think the president, to, to some extent, wasn't fair to the people of Ghana. Mm. Yeah, because I remember President Kufuadu, when he was seeking for power, political power, prior to the 2016 elections, he was making a promise that he, he, he will fight corruption head on, right. that he'll be using the analysis principle to fight mm. corruption. But it is rather unfortunate that when he came, there are a lot of corrupt acts that happened under his, his, his uh, watch. Even if I think COVID? No, I'm talking about, uh, wasn't, yeah, I, I will link COVID to that. Okay. Yeah. I, there, want, the, I want to see that. Yes. There are a lot of corrupt acts that happened under his watch, which mm. he, should have, he should have taken action or he should have used the analysis or how he said he will fight corruption. He should have done that to, 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 to make sure that corruption, if not, we know definitely we cannot, uh, was it like, eradicate it completely, mm. but we can reduce it. But it is unfortunate that. Uh, 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 corruption has been on the ascendancy this time. And to the extent that in COVID, that people, Ghanaian people are dying, some people are trying to take advantage of COVID to mm -hmm. enrich themselves. I think it's which, which, which people? Oh, well, we all know what's around it, the issues that surround the procurement of the, 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 the vaccines. Monies have been refunded. <laughs> Parliament is dealing with the issue. <laughs> Well, if you said they are dealing with the issues, I don't have any the problem with that. Don't yes, go back yes. and go and decide. <laughs> <coughs> but, but the point is, something went on wrong. To the extent that the one who was in charge, I mean the health minister himself said he was not thinking well when he was uh, what's the name, uh, uh, entering into those uh, uh, agreements. Mm -hmm. I think it is, it is unfortunate. And one other thing why the, the, the cases have shot up is, I think people have lost hope in mm -hmm. the leadership. Why do I say so? Uh, we've witnessed several cases where our political actors, our polit political leadership, mm -hmm. engage in, uh, what's the name, engage in a, a gathering and then neglected this COVID protocols. You also had campaigns during that time. Yes, that is why I say political actors. Okay. I we, everybody is at fault. Mm. Uh, recently, a, a, a funeral was held, I mean, Sir John's funeral. And then we saw how these people, I mean, uh, 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 those who went there, it wasn't only 
MPP people who went there, it was a mixture of, or a blend of NDC and MPP. They went there, we saw how they neglected the COVID protocols. And the president himself was, was there. You know, he's leading the crusade. So we, some of us would have uh, 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 thought that he will lead, or he will lead by examples. But it's, it's sometimes unfortunate that he doesn't do it that way. Okay. So because of that, a lot of people have, have lost hope. You know, there's, there's a misconception that COVID is not rare. There's this particular misconception which is being carried along. That by, by who? Oh, a lot. There are certain people. Who, Where you come from in Bono, they don't I, believe that there's COVID. Even in Accra here, people are saying they don't believe in COVID. Really? Yes. That's there are people we have there. said. Yes, there are people there like that. Hey. So, so <laughs> if people are having those conceptions, misconceptions, and then uh, you, the one who is propagating or who is uh, uh, telling us we should observe the pop, uh, COVID protocols, mm. you are rather violating them. How do you expect? The ordinary or the person who's, who, who doesn't even believe I hear you. Message, uh, uh, to observe them. Thank you. Well, front page of the Republic Press, 2024 is do or die. Perplexed Mahama warns. Former President John Mahama has advertised the NDC's intention to deal, uh, to decide the fate of the party in the 2024 elections at the polling stations, thereby warning Ghanaians to brace themselves for do or die. 2024 poll. According to him, following the party's defeat in the 2020 elections, it has learned lessons and has marshaled resources to win on the ground rather than seeking redress at the Supreme Court. So, Ine, why is your leader beating war drums? Well, um, Johnny, as it is often said about Nkrumah, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, uh, first president, um, Sometimes it seems he lived um, before his time. Mm. I mean, when he uh, marshaled resources to invest in the Akosombo Dam at the time, people didn't understand. Right. When he spoke of the relevance of the atomic energy, mm. uh, people didn't understand. Uh, because he lived before his time. Okay. Sometimes I listen to former President Mahama. I, uh, you know, follow his deeds. Mm. And I'm tempted to think that he, he, he's living before his generation. Uh, some of the things he says or does make sense, you know, um, after some careful reflection. He was very, he's a thinker. He's a thinker. And if you don't appreciate that, you may misunderstand him. In he many said cases. boot for boot before. He's saying do or die now. Yes. So Will let's. He say die and die next? So do or die, do or die. Is an English phrase. Right. It's an English phrase. What did he mean? At this no, time? it's not about what he means. It's about what it means okay. in English. Okay. I, I hope you get me. But he said it. It is on the strength of something. It is an English phrase. I, I get it. So the phrase do or die means a grim determination to persist <laughs> even no, this is the definition. So read to read persist mm -hmm. even if death is the result to persist it is not to kill you it mm. says to persist even if death is the result to put yourself in harm's way it is to persist mm. even if death is the result it's not to kill i'm saying to put yourself in harm's way yeah but i'm saying it is not to kill you're not going to kill that one we understand you understand but i'm so, saying so, but to put yourself in so harm's that is way. that is the english meaning of do or die it's an english phrase and that is why he was careful to add that i'm not saying all die be die because he was mindful of the english phrase he was using mm. english phrase so it's not about what he means it's about what you and i have been taught in school mm. even if we were not taught but at least we were taught that when you don't understand a phrase or a word, you can refer to your dictionary. But he is communicating to people and inspiring a certain action. Which I understand. But I'm saying so that... So when, I'm he, saying when that, you say that a certain, a certain dedication... Even so let me, in the let me share... Death, yes. So let me share... Let me share... If you have time, I want I, to share... I, share with me. I want to share with you events of two, three constituencies okay. in the last election. Okay. Savlugu Gushegu and Techiman. In the Savilugu constituency, mm -hmm. at the end of voting, mm. an EC official who was not registered at a polling station, mm -hmm. but was an officer at that polling station in Kadia, Ishmael Kwashi, from a known NPP family in Savilugu, 
that was an EC official, got up and decided to cast his votes at that station where he, his name was not on the register. Mm. He tore, you know, the presidential ballot, mm -hmm. voted Nana Akufuado, and went and put it in the parliamentary box. Mm. At the time he was voting, he was putting it in the box, the NDC agent noticed mm -hmm. and raised, you know, alarm and confronted him. It degenerated. Mm -hmm. The security got involved. Mm -hmm. It took about two days for the matter to be resolved at the police headquarters. Two days two of days. protest. Okay. Now, the NPP wanted that polling station results to be cancelled. Why? Yeah. Because they claim, that was clearly an illegal act. In fact, Ishmael Kwashi was prosecuted later. So they wanted that resource cancelled. But the NDC insisted that they must open and remove that ballot, that one ballot, that was going to spoil the whole issue because he was caught. So let's open and remove the ballot. And fortunately, he put it in the parliamentary ballot and not the presidential. So if you open the parliamentary box, you could simply remove the presidential but, ballot. But how are, you going to, how, are, how are they going to identify that particular ballot? Because he put it in the parliamentary box. Okay. So okay. if you opened any, uh, you know, uh, 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 vote. Okay, which is not presidential, which is not, parliamentary. You, you, you take it out. Okay. But the MPP insisted it must be cancelled. Why? Because if it had been cancelled, they would have won the seat. So some people think that his act was even deliberate. It took two days of protest and determination, persistence by the Savilugu NDC agents mm. and the regional executives of the NDC. Two days of protest from the, uh, you know, Kadiak polling station mm. to the Savilugu police station to the NDC, I mean, to the uh, police uh, headquarters, the regional police headquarters, where the police headquarters together with the EC officials decided that the, the box must be opened and the ballot removed. And then the votes counted. Okay. And the NDC won that seat by 99 votes. Is that why John Mama is saying do or die? No, I'm talking about persistence. Okay. I'm talking about persistence. Okay. They persisted for two days. Right. And they got that seat. Okay. That's Zabzugu seat. Let's go to Zabzugu. Okay. What happened there? In Zabzugu, the, 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 there was overvoting, mm -hmm. which was not detected at the polling station but was detected at the coalition center. The NDC agents, when they detected the, coalition, the, 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 the overvoting during coalition, mm -hmm. mounted a protest. The coalition came to a halt. They locked up, together with the EC officials and security because of the protest, locked up the ballot boxes. In fact, there was an attempt to move the ballot boxes. The people refused. They locked up the ballot boxes. But guess what happened? Mm -hmm. In the dark of the night, the EC officials together with the district chief executive and the parliamentary candidate, who was a deputy regional minister, the coalition sheets mm. were smuggled to Tamale. Were smuggled to Tamale. And you saw the videos at an unidentified location where the coalition was done by the district chief executive together with some others and the parliamentary candidate of the MPP declared lack of persistence. They persisted first, the NDC agents persisted first to protect the ballot boxes. And if you go to Zabzigo today, mm -hmm. the ballot boxes for that parliamentary result is still locked with padlocks of both NDC, NPP, and the uh, security but, agencies. But the, but the, the security agencies... But the Electoral wait, Commission wait, gives you an opportunity to file your complaint yeah. so that they can process it yeah why did they not choose that option how do you that's what i'm saying that if all the complaint so the coalition came to an end okay in their estimation they went to sleep so so only for some so people to smuggle it should not have been declared a winner should not have exactly. been exactly but you see it was declared that's why president mama says 2020 has taught us lessons that's why i'm giving you two scenarios okay where the people of savilugu persisted to the point of death and secured their seat the people of Zabzugu did the same. But when they blinked an eye, mm. the thing was declared are, against are you, them. Are you not worried? Techima, are you not worried that people, Techima, Johnny, people may take Johnny, Johnny. people may take his words out of context? 
and misbehave on election day in 2024. Johnny, Johnny, Techiman is a well-known case. We all know what happened in Techiman. How, again, people persisted and insisted that the right things be done. In the course of it, they, some of them got shot and killed. I mean, Johnny, are we saying that the framers of the 1992 constitution mm. that says we should defend the constitution with our life we're calling for violence they, they want us, us to do that they, with... they want us to persist mm. till the right thing is done because the constitution is the defending the constitution is the right thing but you can't put yourself in harm's way defending no, so, so i'm saying that i'm saying that if you think that the framers of our constitution mm. who enjoin us to defend the constitution to the point of death mm. are warmongers then president mahama is a warmonger okay because president mahama is not saying go kill somebody mm. he's saying persist till the right thing is done and that's why i define do or die for you but the stakes the will be higher in 2024 if he's asking for people to persist, do why? I? Why? Why? Uh, do some people have an intention not to do the right things? And I don't that is know. why. And that is why they are not comfortable. That's that, why, that's, that there's a call for others to persist to the point of that death. That was why. That's why I'm asking you what His Excellency Mahama meant. That's why I'm giving. He, he put it in context. You see, when you analyze things out of context, you get it wrong. I'm because not. I've heard. No, I'm not talking about okay. you. I've heard some people, for example, uh, compared to Al Dabi. Mm. You know, context matters. Okay. Context is very important. Okay, I hear you. In all die be die, we had a by election. Mm. And it's important people take note of it. Okay. We had a by election. Let, let, let me go to the a quote. N, the, mm. NPP, the NPP, you know, uh, uh, beat up people and boasted about it. Azoka boys, they boasted about it. In fact, Nana Kufado said, Etiwa kra yet sure mo be bika kra. As for this election, all die be die. Yet show mu bibi kakra. And the bibi kakra was the beating of who they, but, the people but they call Azoka also said you have a revolutionary past and that's no, no, no. good you see, for I'm, I'm, I'm comparing not two things. Don't Chalewati. introduce a third one. I'm not, I'm not I'm, 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 I'm talking about those who come. I'm talking about context okay. analysis. Okay. Context analysis. Right. So he was saying that yet show mu bibi kakra. Mm. So this one all die be die. Okay. Now that is different. The context there is different. From this one, we have learned lessons from 2020, where I have given you examples in Savalugu. Mm. I've given you examples in Zabzugu. You know of the examples in Techiman. And he's saying that because of this, we are going to win this election at the polling station, just as we won Savalugu at the polling station, okay. because people persisted to the point of okay, death. Okay, thank you. Dr. Bernard Okoboy, uh, step, step in for me. You have heard Sweeney explained what the... NDC leader said, His Excellency John Dramani Mahama has said, um, what do you say? Is your party shaking by this uh, insistence to persevere till the very end? Um, politicians must learn to learn. Okay. We must learn from the experience of our other colleagues. When President Kufado said, all oh, die, we die, I was just trying to read an article that was published on Ghana Web. Mm. And he had a, an interview with Accra Base Peace FM. Now, this was reported on Ghana Web, 2nd December 2016. Before that, I think that was his last interview for the election. Now, see the headline, all die, we die mantra, I'm ready to accept blame. But... The opening, um, how do you call it, uh, paragraph says that Nana... We, we call it the lead. Yes, mm. Nana Kufado, okay, sorry, the lead. Mm. The 2016 presidential candidate of the opposition in the party has said he is prepared to accept blame for the infamous all die, die mantra, which he used in the run-up. And this mm. is what he said. He said, the all die, die comments made the headlines in 2012 when the new party flag by Nana Kufado had money party members to be vigilant and ready mm. to defend... Uh, uh, the ballot box. Mm. Now, I know that that the, the comments were twisted. That's quoting Anna. It proved to be an unfortunate statement for me. I'm prepared mm. to accept all that. But that is the origin. It was the exact, exact opposite of tribal statement. Mm. Johnny, basically, President Kufado 
And I, I'm happy he said there was a context. Okay. You had hoodlums, vigilant, vigilantes who had stormed it, you had to try and use force mm. to take, because we were having the seat, it was an MPP seat, to try and use incumbency to take the seat from us. And there was resistance from the people, they stood their grounds. And the president said, people have assumed that we are cowards. When we see people who are valid, we run away. But this time, the Trump will break a cry, and that all died with that. What did the NDC say? What did they say? This man is a violent man. This man is saying that people should kill, people should sacrifice their lives for him. Will his children go to the, the police station? All kinds of statements. Even when the president said, I didn't mean people should go and kill, but to stand for their rights. Today, see what Sweeney is telling us. Now he's giving us the English definition of do or die, that it is persistence and now, so why you do you... You should contextualize it. No, okay, I'm coming. No problem. Uh, no problem. No, I'm, 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 allow him. Allow him. Johnny. No, he says Johnny. I'm giving them. This is Johnny. my definition. Johnny. Johnny. I didn't write the next You, you, you will come in again. Johnny. Go, go, go ahead. In fact... He me. said you should contextualize it. No, I'm happy he's talking about a dictionary. So, I mean, we, we all have... You want to do the second definition. Yes, yes. But, you know, Johnny, basically, all the dictionaries, if you check the dictionaries, they just tell you that it's someone looking for a particular outcome, no matter what is involved. And the word desperate shows up all the time. Looking for one particular outcome, ready to do everything to get it. Now, if you, if you watch the video by President George Romani Mama, you realize that, look, he prepared the mind of business before coming to the order that. How did he do that? He said that, number one. Oh, no, please, please, please. No, he said all that. President Mao didn't say all that. Allow him, please. I was quite allow honest. Him. No, but President Mao didn't say all that. He said, I'm not saying all die be die, yes. but I'm saying do, do all die. die. But let's allow him. Let's Johnny, be fair to Look him. at the statement President Mao made. Number one, that this election, they didn't lose. They were robbed. Mm. Now, if you are telling your supporters that they didn't lose this election, that they were robbed, and that and look at the second statement made. That when you look at the ballot box, can you imagine with your eyes, the vote, the papers in it were actually more than what the machine has captured. A former president of the republic making such false claims. And what does this do? So the supporter of the NDC, who is uh, what was the word? Who is a, a staunch or who is ready to do everything? We go like wow. So. They put more ballots than the machine captured. This is what the former president is saying. Is that your inference? Oh, they, watch the video. Play the video. He said so. He, in fact, he pointed as if the box is in front of him. Mm. That when you look at the box, the ballot papers in the box mm. is more than what the machine has captured. Hey. Wow. A former That's president really. said, you know what it means? No. No, what it means, and then before he lands at, the results should be determined at the polling station. Mm -hmm. This time it is do or die. You know what they are telling the person there? What are they telling them? In your already he's prepared your mind with two things that you want, but they took it from you. So assuming if it so happens that they declare a result mm -hmm. and at the police station Lejokuku and NDC loses that police station with the comments from JM, an NDC member has been told that the papers you see is more than what is on the map. But Sweeney so suggests that the framers of the nineteen ninety two constitution are asking you to protect No no but, but Johnny, the, forget that and, and then he says that Persisting. No, no, I don't, not to go and do no, no, I don't. I don't have a problem. Mm. No, I've given you. He prepared the mind okay. before James said the, the, pre the premise. I've made two statements. Okay. That James said. Mm. He said number one, they didn't lose this election. They were robbed. Number two, ballot papers in the box were more than what the machine has captured. Now with these two, what it means that even hear what please, 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 please. Allah, Allah. Ah. You, I am you, saying I'll it on you, authority. I've watched the video. I'll this give you a rebuttal. He, exactly. Mm. Now, what JM is doing is that even if you have a genuine process that results in the loss at any police station, he has prepared the mind of his people that you have to fight it and it, your fight must result in what you want at the police station. Johnny, please, 2012, we went to Supreme Court, mm. sat before judges for our eight months. Mm. That was the route we took. In other countries, that experience but violence the and war. also went to court no, recently. I know, but now he's saying that the courtroom is not a place they will go. It must be finished and determined at the police station. You know what that means? If every place, assuming that Jokuku have a problem, mm. and I say I'm not going to the court, as I push and persist, if the other side pushes and persists, 
What is pushing and persist? Is it through ex verbal exchanges? We've seen people physically holding each other. Mm -hmm. Now it will come to the use of gadgets and things. Because you want at the end of the day to get the result you want. Look, the basics of our election make sure that it is difficult for anybody to cheat you. When I say basic, what do I mean? Tell Johnny, me. Tell me. I have been a candidate before. It's a candidate. Every polling station, it is the votes that come from the polling station that we add to form the overall vote count in the constituency. But if you lose that, no, no, I'm coming, I'm coming. If you lose that, see, see, there, see, I'm coming. You know, you most the of election. the violence we experienced this election, mm. John, you know where the violence was? No. It was not at the polling station. Where was it? This election, where was it? Coalition Center. That's right. If anybody, you know my place, I considered, mm. if anybody had tried to cheat me at the polling station, I have all the copies. That's why the elections are done in a way that you, the candidate, your agent has what? Copies. I don't need to push anybody or fight a soldier at the coalition center. If you change the figures and it results in a win for the NDC, I'll just go and sleep. The next morning, I file my papers at the court. It's because they were making false claims. That's why in the Supreme Court of Ghana, they didn't show one pink sheet. The, N the MP NDC were not ready to collect the figures for even five police stations to say that based on this count, we've won the election. They, they, they asked the Electoral Commission to come into Can, the can you imagine? So now, that the Electoral Commission, who is the referee, would then now come and say jo Johnny, what happened. Johnny, see, it's mm -hmm. very simple. If I if I'm taking Lejukuku's results to court, mm -hmm. by the time I get there, all the 300 plus police, 342 police stations, I have all the pink sheets. I would have done the collation in my house. Mm -hmm. I tell the judge, look at the figures I've won. It is then that the commission will bring their copy to make sure that they are able to either contest me or admit that something changed at the coalition center. So really, what has happened is very dangerous. Mm -hmm. President Mama, civil society, the clergy, they must come hard on him and tell him, look, take us out of this part. I was in Sierra Leone. You'll be amazed. Sierra, I tell people, Sierra Leone has the face mm -hmm. of what war looks like. You see buildings that are uh, 300 years mm -hmm. You see buildings that, I mean, are hanging. You see roads that are motorable. I mean, it's so sad. And when you check, it's all due to war. President Mama, people don't know this. Johnny, mm -hmm. President John Dramani Mama, he's paid monthly the salary of the city president, Kufuado. Pre he's he's he not a no, no, holder. Yeah, I'm saying this so that people it, know what is happening. But it is deserved. No, no. You, wait, I'm coming. You see, sometimes, based on your condition, you forget yourself. Oh, really? Yes. He's taking the salary of the city president till he will leave this earth. President Mama, his drivers are paid by the state. His security is paid by the state. When, when Nana you know retires, he will enjoy See, the same benefits. Okay, do you know why the state is able to afford this? Tell me. It's because we have a stable democracy. If there is mayhem and chaos, and there is no, I mean, I, order I, in the system. I, are you suggesting yes. that he's calling for mayhem and chaos? Oh, but, but if a former president tells you that, determine the outcome, in fact, already has told you that you are not supposed to lose the election. Mm -hmm. No matter what the results you see at the police station or coalition center, change it. He's asking the people to be vigilant. No, no. Ah, but are you choosing words for him? No, I, I'm asking you well, questions. Words Forget like, about Suhini and, and, and H.E. John. Dom would Dom we Dom be Dom using Dom Dom the dictionary if the president Man has said that we should be vigilant, we should persist? All these are correct words. If I tell you, be per I mean persist, be vigilant, be on your toes, who will come in? Now, why do you use the word die? Do you know that? Do you know that there are people who, after listening to President Mama, will tell themselves that, look, if I have to lose my life in 2024, I'm ready to lose my I life. I hear you. And, and finally, you. Johnny, the hypocrisy of the NDC is so profound. Why do I say so? This is an electoral process that made you take close to 60 something seats. Mm. No, this is amazing. Nobody talks about that. This is a process that gave you. Took 66. But you both are in court fighting over seats. No, no, I'm coming. See, you took this process, mm. supervised by the Electoral Commission, Jim Mensah and his team, mm. and the team, sorry. They allowed you to take 60 seats. They didn't allow them. The people of Ghana voted for them. I'm happy. Mm. So how come that one, you are pleased with it? Mm. But when it comes to the presidential, you have a problem. The same process. That gave you 137, 137. And guess what? This same process has given you, in court, an NDC Speaker of Parliament. Never happened in our history. Wow. And despite all this, because you didn't get to be president in 2020, now people must go 
to elections and be ready to Thank do you. it or die. But time is finished. Come on, the church must wake up. Your, your time is finished. And all the imams must wake up. Your time is finished. <laughs> they must, no, it's serious. They got to talk to him, Johnny. Big flames start small. Okay. Oh big flames. So he needs laughing at you. I said big this. flames so, start small. So he needs laughing at you. The reason why, ah, you see Afghanistan. So he needs laughing at you. People jumped out of their cars okay. when they told the Taliban had taken over. They were running towards the border. None of us is safe. If any violence starts. So, so he, please. So he needs laughing at you. Johnny, this is serious business. I hear you. <laughs> Ms. Abudu, step in for me. You have heard the NDC and the MPP. Yeah, what does the PPP say about what H.E. John, John Dramani Mahama said? Thank you, Mr. Johnny. Uh, I think it's unfortunate we heard such statement from the former president. Why do you say that? Yeah, why I say that is, I remember somewhere, I think 2012, when Mr. Akufuado, Mm -hmm. the now president of Ghana, when he made a comment that all die be die. Uh, NDC, including well-meaning Ghanaians, condemned that particular statement mm -hmm. which was made by the now president, Mr. Kufuado. We all condemn it. And uh, Mr. Uh, former president... That's an honorary doctorate now. So. Former president mm -hmm. also condemned it. Mm -hmm. And you, the one who condemned it some time back, Mm -hmm. You are making a statement which is almost similar okay. to the statement you, 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 you condemned some time past. I think it sparks of hypo uh, hypocrisy. Mm -hmm. Why do I say that? Because look at this. Uh, that statement he made has a potential of inciting people. Okay. Yeah, some, you see, Mr. Sumini was saying that he was giving some, uh, uh, what's the name, defending it and other things. But the point defining is, defending it. Defending. Defending. Yeah, well, that, that, was a, that was a, a defensive mechanism. Defense. Oh. Yes, that was a. Oko, allow Mr. Abudu. Support <laughs> that, you. Don't support that, him. It's not in your party. That was a. He wants a, to take your place. <laughs> <laughs> that was a defensive mechanism. Mm. But the point is, how many of us will understand what Mr. Sweeney is saying? Let's go to our, 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 our. Let's go to the grounds. How many of us will see it or will understand how he is explaining it? But if it? you understand it, you are a communication officer, you can explain it, Yoko. Well, I can do my part, okay. but how many, how, many, how many of us will, will, will hear me when I'm explaining it? But or, that speaks to then your control over your people you, you as see, a communication officer. <laughs> everybody, everybody, you see, it's, it's not one person's affair. Mm. It is a, a national... Okay. Uh, yes, mm. you get the point. I hear you. So, those that... Those who don't understand or who must who, who might uh, interpret it to suit themselves, what do you think? How do you think they will act? Do you understand what I'm saying? What do you how do you think they will act? They might interpret it to mean that at the polling station, they should make sure that, like whether whether however it is, they should they should they should. They should <laughs> you get the point. Mm -hmm. they should, yes. <laughs> But until they die, they should not leave their place. Do you get the point? Somebody, so, somebody will say that if the NDC had not done do or die in parliament, Carlos Ayinkra would have taken the ballot papers. But before Carlos took it, they had gone to break the <laughs> Yes, boxes. because they were doing do or if they had not done do or die, they started yeah, a do or die. Night, yes. Lord, thank you. I'm coming. If they had not done, somebody says, uh -huh. if they have not done do yeah. or die on that night, Carlos Ahinkra would have taken the I said before Carlos, you see, before Carlos, there were two. They are the elite they people in the society. So Gina <laughs> Paul and and all those people who did the do or die ensure that Speaker Bagwin is speaker today. That is that is true. So if but, they are not done do or die, but they are the elite people in the society. But I'm saying but, that if they are not done do or die, let me come. Let me come. You have not heard Yes, you let me let me answer it. <laughs> answer my question. The point is, they I'm are, saying I'm saying that I am coming to. I am coming there. Question. Yes, okay. I've heard you. Answer my question. They are the elite people in the society. Mm. So they might use some, uh, the, like the way he's saying, persistence. Maybe they're persisted please, and then please, achieve please. it. I'm, I, I'm, I'm coming. I'm no, coming. Just a second. I'm coming. <laughs> Reflecting or characterized by an irrevocable decision to succeed at all costs. Yeah. Yeah. That will suit his agenda. <laughs> <laughs> he has been okay, at okay. So, so the point I'm trying to Since when did the PBB and the MPP <laughs> have an He's alliance? He's looking for a definition since that will suit his agenda. The point I'm trying to make oh. it. There so are people on the ground who act in a different manner mm -hmm. 
who, who, who will not fear to die because of these elections? Mm. Who will pull a trigger at the le le least provocation? There are a lot of people like that. You get the point? So the point, like, people, our leaders should not be making such comment, which has a potential of inciting violence. I hear you. After all, what do we get from them as leaders? Mm. When President Kufado was seeking for political power, look at the promises he made. How many of them has he been, been able to achieve? Nothing. Few. Few. Mm. Look at the free education uh, 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 policy that they are, they, they are talking of. Mm. Well, it is good they implemented it. Yes. But what success have we talked? Stagioni, it will interest you to know that this time, comparing now and then, it is, it is, it, it is a bad story to write about. I hear you. Uh, the, Mr. Johnny, let, let me land. Yeah, yeah, you are yeah. landing on this one. Okay, let me Thank learn. you, boss. Stagioni, we, we can have elections without dying. It is a matter of you training your uh, pooling agents. It is a matter of having a, a, a lawyer, well-educated and well-trained pooling agents who will be able to, to, to do your business for you. One other thing is, I think our political system, uh, sorry, our, our uh, electoral system is also a factor. Why do I say this? Can't we go the electronic way? Is there no means of doing that? You people say what? that IPAC, what do you tell them? Well, we, you, see, you see, this EC has taken a particular position that when you talk, Yo. they, don't, they don't listen. Yo. They do what they deem fit. Now Yo. you are speaking for the NDC. No. I thought you were I, speaking for the NDC. No, 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 I'm not speaking. I'm, 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 don't, don't I'm not speaking Allow for him. any party. It's a coincidence of thoughts. Please, I beg you. It's a coincidence of thoughts. I, 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 I beg you, you allow him. Yes. Oh, you man. said the EC doesn't happen. listen. Yes, that one, that one is a fact. They don't listen. Now, let me make my point. Go ahead. I said it. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is this, like, we should have continuous registration. Right. You see, when the a person turns 18, mm. there should be a system in place that you, you register. But that was granted, only Maku and Abu Ramadan, when they went for uh, that challenge okay. in the Supreme Court, ha, ha, if, uh, the NHIS registrants. Yeah. You remember that case, yeah. right? It but was it's, granted. It's, it's, it's they, they, it was mentioned that she had to say mm -hmm. had to do it. So Jimensa has to do that. Well, is it implemented? It's not implemented. You get the point. So that is. These are some of the reasons, or these are some of the things that are that that, that are creating the grounds or fertile grounds for people to make such comment okay. because they have a mistrust or they don't trust the electoral process. They mm. have this kind of perception that the, the, the EC has a potential of, uh, what's the name, uh, 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 stealing or, or what's the, favoring a particular said, party. JM said Ghana was known for a stable democracy. Thank you. The EC is the best in Thank the African world. Thank you. That, Thank you. You see, that is, that is, that is a double that standard. That is correct. Yes, you see, yeah. you see. So you One is the best them. Please repeat the double standard. It's okay. I'm grateful. <laughs> what? Let, what? Let's let Sweeney come in. Mr. Okay. Thank you. Let, we're wrapping up now. Yeah, uh, Sweeney. Personally, mm. personally, I have stated that so many people in the public space, unfortunately in this country, mm -hmm. admit to the wrong mm. in a conduct or speech okay. only when it is repeated by the NDC. I'll repeat that. Personally, I've said that in this country, so many people in the public space only tend to admit to what is wrong mm. in speech or in conduct only when it is repeated by the NDC. I have said that. I have said that personally somewhere so many yeah. times. Now, my you brother... Have said that before. Yes, you see, I have told you about the case of Savilugu. Don't forget that. Mm. And how persistence That's kept that seat. Mm. I have told you about the persistence in Zabzugu. And when they blinked, they lost that seat. And it is being challenged in court. The Techiman issue is a clear story. And President Mahama said which my brother here does not refer to, but refers to something else that I don't find in the speech, that there were not more uh, ballots in the box in the, that yeah. I, didn't, I didn't hear in the speech. But what President Muhammad concluded with was that mm. we don't want to cheat the MPP. He said it. We don't want to cheat them, but we will not also allow them to cheat us at the polling station, just like the Savlugu people did not allow them to, themselves to be cheated. Mm. And when he talks about President Muhammad's benefits, Johnny, yes. And that is why we must understand that left to President Hamas comfort, he wouldn't be spending sleepless nights on the road. It is because of his love for this country 
and how badly it has been managed by these people, especially when he twirled, especially when he twirled so much mm. to do so much for this country. Is he not starting the campaign too early? No, what is it? He's thanking the people. This is not campaign. He's Look, people did not even give him a dog chance in the last election. But this was the best performance of a party in opposition confronting a, a sitting government, you know, uh, uh, going for a second term election. Uncle says you so won 137, 137 seats he needs to turn plus the one. That yes. one, you were happy with he, it. We, but then, because the you people. didn't get to become president, no, because you are, it was you are downing the process. And Johnny, I have said again, after reviewing the CDD report, that it is intriguing to me that about 62% of the people in Ghana think that Nana Kufuadu and Dr. Baumia's government is corrupt. They also think that they cannot manage the economy. And in that same report, they say that about 49% do not think the best way is to speak out. But about 67% mm. think the best way is to vote the party out. And this was a research done three months after an election, where 67% think that the best way to punish a government that is corrupt and a government that cannot manage the economy is to vote it out. I have, wondered, I have wondered how come after an election such a result appears. Peter and that goes disagrees. to confirm perhaps, our suspicion that that election was stolen. But we are disagrees. law abiding people. Mm. And so we have accepted the Supreme Court ruling, like President Mahama said. President Akufado is our president. Mm. We are, however, saying that we have learned useful lessons. And, Johnny, mm. let me conclude. Okay. Let me conclude mm. with the national anthem and make our nation great and strong, bold to defend forever. Wow. The cause of freedom and of right. Fill it. our hearts with true humility. Make us cherish fearless honesty and help us to resist oppressors' rule with all our will mm. and might. With all our will. Was it not the same yeah. song you were singing <laughs> on the night that you we elected a speaker? So fantastic, so and that's what got us a speaker. Uncle, hold on. With all our will, persistence, <laughs> And we are all enjoined as Democrats and people believing in democracy to defend our constitution. In fact, they say wait, wait, when you that it when is you... okay for the blood of patriots mm. to be used to water the plant of freedom. The blood of patriots every now and then, it's okay this, for it to be used to water the, 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 the plants of freedom. Will not, will not please, get please, please, nothing, nothing, nothing was ever gotten please. which is good for, a, you know, please, from you, the no, from, from despots. Nothing is ever gotten from despot mm. on me, a silver platter. Me, I want to go and donate Johnny, my blood at the hospital. A, I, I don't want it to spill. Johnny. Uh, <laughs> I'm come, I'll come to you, Mr. Abudu. Yeah, Mr. Johnny. I want to go and donate blood. I don't want it to spill. Yeah, so that I can save lives. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. That is true. It's a good thing. True. Thank you very much. But, but I'm saying that anybody who attempts to, to, to overthrow this constitution, mm. to do what is not right, yeah. You as a patriot and as a citizen, it if it requires my life, like we demonstrated on the floor of parliament when the army came and we marched them out, we will do it in defense of this 1992 constitution. Read the second and stanza the right of, of the anthem, done. Hail to thy name, O Ghana. Yeah, it's also a beautiful one. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Abudu, step for your closing thoughts. Oh, okay. Are uh, you also willing to die for Ghana? Well, I'm willing to die for Ghana, but not to die for a political party. Hey. What you are saying is serious. So, <laughs> so the PPP people who voted for you to be communications officer, yeah. what are you telling them? No, I mean, ah. not oh, cool. I have not called you, please. <laughs> I beg you. What I'm saying is, uh, I will die for Ghana. Uh, when we say we die for Ghana, it doesn't mean that physically death. Mm -hmm. It's about your commitment to uh, what's it? Something like fighting corruption. You are afraid. You are yeah. afraid. <laughs> 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 you are afraid. Let, let me, you see, uh, what Mr. or former president said, mm. we cannot sweep it uh, entirely under the, under the carpet. Yeah, yeah there, were, there, there was some portion mm. which was relevant and which was true. When he said uh, some literary people were seen shooting anyhow, mm -hmm. I, I think that is a true statement. Because I remember we saw some literary officers wearing earrings. Mm -hmm. And I don't think our military permit that. Permit that. Do you get that? Mm -hmm. So, and I believe those people, those guys were there 
they were they were they were there on a mission. Mm. And I believe they were sent by a certain group of people, specifically maybe in power, to go and do the abandon there. And I don't think any well-meaning military person, mm. any decent military person, will shoot into a crowd just like that. Okay. Stajoni, on the day after the election, that was the eighth, I was at the coalition center at 20. At a point in time, some people, some supporters were throwing in stones because they thought the EC was delaying in announcing their winner. There were military officers there. None of them shot a gun. None of them shot a gun. Mm. It means that they are the well-trained military guys that we, we have in the system. Okay. But those people at the Techmai South, mm. I know uh, or I believe they were people from the MPP's camp. Hey. Yes. I'm making a very serious statement. Oh, that, that, I that, believe. that I cannot the, independently verify now. <laughs> <laughs> so why are military people, why were they wearing earrings? What was their mission there? Is that allowing the military setup to wear air? No. Thank you. Johnny. But they o were there. Oh, good boy. Johnny. Yes, boss. A uh, leader must be careful about his or her words. Say that to Nana Kufado. And when President Kufado said all that he does a time ago, we quoted the constitution. We quoted our anthem. They told us that it amounted to inflammatory speech. It is very important for John Ramani Mama to know that when the state becomes ungovernable, he cannot enjoy all the benefits he's getting now. His statements were inflammatory. They were reckless. These are statements that can turn a country upside down. And I expect the clergy, I expect all who are reasonable and mean well for Ghana to call him and ask him to do the right thing. 2024, mm. it is the will of the Ghanaian people that would stand and not the personal wishes of a politician. I want to say here, mm. Suini so says that how come 60 something percent said we are corrupt yet we won? Only they gave they gave reasons for how why they voted. When you look at the CD report, the party's performance, behavior of its MPs. Then there was the part of NDC's alternative. Whether NDC was the reason why they voted. Guess what? Three percent. Okay. Only three percent of the respondents say that they see NDC as an alternative. So if he says he wonders how come 60% say we are corrupt, right. but we Thank win. You. I am telling him they are Thank not you. an alternative. Oh, oh. James Thank is not you. an alternative. You, 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 you have peddled two falsehoods on this. Thank you, you very much. You have a thousand. Uh, uh, Alassane <laughs> Suhini is a uh, <laughs> member of parliament for the Tamale North <laughs> constituency. <laughs> and uh, I'm getting a lot of messages from his <laughs> constituency <laughs> asking, uh, you know, we'll, we'll play it later. Um, I don't have it, so uh, we, uh, we don't have the permission of the media house to, to use their video. But thank you, Alassane Suhini. Also, Abu Du Nicolas is a Bono Regional Communication Officer of the PPP, grateful. And also, Dr. Bernard Okobo is a former member of parliament for Lejikuku, is also a former health minister. Boss, you pay money for collecting the contacts.